just let a really easy shot go by. Yeah, that's that could be said. Um, if that's your opinion, I won't speak on my mind because I'm just the interviewer here. Uh, Mallard's is having a rough season at the moment, not really finding a whole lot. The only win you guys have on paper here a is a forfeit win, win yeah. against the Mingos. What are you guys looking to do or try to change in the locker room or the team in order to maybe make have some sort of chance at making playoffs? Um, I don't think there is a chance, and I'm trying to get traded, so... I've been trying for, like, eight games now to get traded. Okay, so let's put yourself in the coach's perspective here. If you were the coach, what would you do as the coach here to try to make your team uh, trade for new goalie. real? New goalie. Trade for a new goalie, right. Okay, and so looking at your roster, what trade value do you have? Um, I couldn't tell you. I don't I don't think there's a single person in the roster. Okay, just just maybe, making maybe maybe Slap or I don't know if he ever decides to wake up or Right, that, right. Um, so I get that? it. Okay, so he got is a dinosaur. coach right here would trade away his number one skater along with some other poverty players in order for a better goalie. Yep. I like it, Zion. I like your vision here. You might be what saves the Mallards if you don't get traded off. No, no, I'm trying to get traded at that. <laughs> or to get cut. I don't want to be on this team. Well, you're going to have to convince your coach to do that. And uh, the more you ask for it, the less likely coaches are usually to give you that freedom. Yeah, no, <laughs> I've asked him quite a bit. And he said, I'm looking for a trade. So he put me on the first line. And then... Uh, to increase the trade value, he said. Looking at other teams around here, any teams that you feel confident that the Mallards could actually beat, other than obviously the Mingos? Maybe, maybe, maybe let's let's go look at standings. Who's at the bottom? I feel like we make out a chance at the Loons. Ah, uh, okay. So you think you have a chance at the Loons? I don't think we have a chance against anyone else. I'd actually take anyone else over us. And looking at your schedule here, you have quite a few games left. Um, seems like you have a game coming against the Aces. How are you feeling for that game? Uh, I'm hoping I'm traded by them. <laughs> All right, Z, thank you for your time. Uh, that'll conclude that interview as we get ready to move on to the next game here. I can't get rid of this guy. Can somebody else get rid of him? Oh, I'll get rid of him. Sorry about that. <laughs> um... This guy just, he just wants to leave his team, I guess. Yeah. Which I don't, I don't blame him. Sometimes when you're on a poverty team, you do just want to leave. As we move to the Chiliwack Chief Stadium here, a long flight for these players to go all the way from Minnesota back to their hometown. And they get ready for their doubleheader against the Ramuski Oceanic. We've seen a lot of interesting things from the Oceanic here recently. They had a... <laughs> Only three players against the Mingos and got four scam, but it was the Mingos, so they still won. Uh, their last game, which was, you know, against the Dewsbury Deers, and they had some scheduling conflicts that uh, resulted in a forfeit. But making some good key trades here, this team is starting to look like it could shape up with Glass, Slaw, and Smart Griffin here. We, I think this team could really shape up to be a decent team that makes a play in the run or makes a run in the playoffs. I'm not sure how well to do it against these top quality teams though, like the Chiefs who are at full strength. We'll this is a this devious game. lineup. I'm sorry, this is a devious like line matchup we have right now. I won't lie. Glass the bot and Sloth likes bagels versus Zulis and I don't know whose line mate is again. They're putting Smart Griffin in goal this game? And Smart Griffin in goal. Um, he's really good in goal. Because he's British. Uh, uh, Scottish, sorry. I'm, he's not British. Same thing. I don't really care. Um, he's in Europe. So, I mean. He's got that ping difference. He can ping the puck better. I like that's the only thing they have as an advantage, though. Smart Griffin... It's not a bad goalie by any means, but having one of your key skaters be put into the net is not something we want to see from the Oce uh, Rimouski Oceanic here. We're about to start the face-off, and it, it looks like Oceanic only have three skaters and one goalie, so they're going to be playing a Glass 2v1 into Zulus Svechi line for the Chiefs as we start the face-off here 
in five seconds. Oh god. This is what they did against the Mingos, and of course when you're playing a team like the Mingos, especially with how many fouls there were in that game, that can be doable, but against this full power Chiefs game, who have their entire line showing up here today, and have that depth, this is going to be very hard for Glass to keep up a 2v1 so that his second line can have stamina. He... A good pass from Zulus here, but just stopped by Glass as they just look for pass plays. They know they're in a 1v2, so they're going to keep looking for pass plays here against Glass. A pullback from Zulus into Svechi. Svechi takes it up into the corner, and Glass will just win that there as Svechi stops pressing. Yo, <laughs> yo. I'm confused all the time wasting with four minutes left in the first period. I th yo. I'm not too sure. Glass yo. seems to be time wasting. I think. I can't even say maybe to like have his players get stamina because his players are sitting there on the bench with full stamina. The game just started. Yeah, I'm kind of confused. I'm kind of confused. I'm not I'm gonna not lie. I'm not sure what the game plan is here, but Glass the bot will find a breakaway here, and just puts it a ping from Zulus into the left right side of the net as they try to find another pass up, but it is, they can't find these passes here at all. Glass is doing a great job at covering these passes on one or two, but he gives away a breakaway from Svechi, who P3s it, but an easy save for Smart Griffin here as it goes back into the corner. Svechi and Glass will fight it. Glass continuing to look like he's trying to time kill. I feel like Glass the bot needs to um, remember that he does not have a teammate. Another Well, now he does, but he did not have another teammate behind him. You, like, you gotta cover a wide area. A that's very true. He does have to play very good zone coverage here if he wants to have anything done. He's playing that 1v2. DC Gem Master, though, coming out and Sloth getting both of them getting beat by Mo Wong on the side, but a good back check from Sloth like Bagels to kind of give them a chance. And Sloth has a breakaway here and oh, just barely wide as Mo Wong finds a P3 up the ice to nobody. Adrian Tom is not there at all. You Sloth likes Bagels haters. Why do you hate him so much? Like, honestly, like, he's not even that bad. He's... he's... <laughs> Goro threw me the hell off with that DM. Uh, Molong... <laughs> Molong trying to beat both of these players here, and he beats both the defenders. He has a breakaway here, but it just kind of whiffs it there. Tries to pull it back, but it's, it's it's pinged away by Sloth. Andrew Tom has a good stop there, and he beats DC Gem, and it just sneaks it past Mark Griffin. Mark Griffin a little off his post here, making it a little too easy for that shot there. And Adrian Tom will find a first goal of the game. We are not having lion matching right now. This is the opposite. <laughs> Smart Griffin in net is crazy. I would have to agree with that. But it's what they've had to resort to with their schedule or, and their team just not showing up for games and just not having the numbers that they require to play these games. DC Gem Master will take it up and beat Adrian Tom on the boards. And almost get it past Molong, but Molong will take it back into the corner. Have a little trouble getting it out the corner, but that's the story of the life in JBHL. Molong takes yeah. it up into open ice, Sloth the Bagel, P3s it up back into the corner as Molong and Sloth fight into the Chief's corner. Tries to find a pass up to Adrian Tom, it's unsuccessful. DC Gem is trying to beat both of the defenders, but just doesn't seem to find anything there as it's back into the Chief's corner. A lot of punching here from the Chiefs as Molong will come off the ice and Zulus will go on. Adrian Tom doing good time, but just keeping in a good job of keeping it in the corner for that line change. Zulus, nobody else is on the ice. It's just Zulus right now. Especially will figure out that they're supposed to be on the ice and come on. As a line change happens for the Ramuski Oceanic, Glass the Bot is back in a 1v2 here. <laughs> come on, dude. So we're not even running a line, we're just running a solo. Yo, what a good glove. An uh, insane glove from Smart Griffin here, and just freeze. He won't drop that. In a 1v2, it's a good idea. To maybe drop that there because it's very hard to yeah, face it's very hard like to face, a, these face off plays when you have one player here. Yeah, a Huskies uh Huskies is gonna go bad. I can already tell. Oh. Glass tries to jump it and there's just no P3 there on this face off play. I yeah. Molong making fun of the Ramuski Oceanic saying that they don't know how to three man, which Are we... is slightly true because yeah, that's not how that works. Yeah, you don't run one person and then run a, a normal line. Your first what? line. Caribou absolutely sitting down Molong, saying that your first line has scored zero against Glass the Bot in a 1v2. <laughs> I mean, that's just facts right there. That That's true. I mean, 
I Glaz the bot is clamping up Zulus and Svechi right now. I mean, I don't. <laughs> It's, it is impressive how Glass Nevada is holding his own in these 1v2 plays here. Even when they're trying to find pass plays on the Chiefs, they're just not finding it. Yeah, he's going to get pinned on that. Ramuski, though, is going to make it very hard for them to play this game. So a what do we do, chat? Do we just pen him and put Sloth likes Bagel? Yo, does this... Yeah, yeah, that that was on puck, especially for an EU person. I didn't, I don't know what we're doing here. Chat. We have to, we have to be kind to these refs here. They are very new. They, a lot of people have just recently been given ref firms, and they're trying to find their bearings. It is a questionable call, but at the end of the day, it's a call that's been made, and Ramuski Oceanic will have to just live with it and figure out how to work with it because if they complain about it and let it ruin their mental, things are only going to go downhill from there. Seems like Sloth Like Bagels will come on for the penalty kill here. A good choice. Sloth Like Bagels has very good defensive potential. Um, we'll see how he fares in this as the faceoff is on the left side. I'm sure nobody in the game really seems to know where the faceoff <laughs> is at this moment. Okay. Sloth Like Bagels wins it back and into the corner. Yo! Chief is not putting any pressure on them. Oh, there we go. Zulus has... Oh, Sloth Like Bagels clamping him up! In Sloth Like Bagels finds yeah. the goal on the penalty yes. kill. That Sloth Likes Bagels. That Sloth Likes Bagels. Make that a gift. Make that a gift right now. Oh my god. That was impressive. That he just yes, came sir. off the breakaway and snuck it past Royal in the goal for a penalty kill goal here for Sloth Like Bagel. Really giving Oceanic the ability to... Plates are just defensive for the rest of the game. If they just want to clamp down for the rest of this game and just say, hey, we're not going to play aggressive. We're just going to make sure nothing goes in the back of our net and just take the 1-0 win. And with the team that they have at the moment, that's not a terrible idea. If I'm Zulus, I'm confused. I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> like, brother. Oh, they're going to try and run Huskies here, and Sloth Like Bagels is not going to know what to do. I feel I just have a feeling. If, depending on how the comms look in this Oceanic call right now, the call could be here to just jump this uh, Classic. I'm not sure. Looking at the team, though, it doesn't really seem like any of them oh, are aware of that it. strategy. Well, I'm finding a good pass up to Zulus, but a great wow. pass from Smart Griffin. As... Oh. Glass the bot comes back on and almost finds a goal as he's straight back on it. Almost an optimal position from that penalty box. Glass I'm bot just trying to think of here. the possibility that we might see the Oceanic win after Glass the bot 1v2s the Zulus. I doubt it right now. I have serious doubts that he's going to be able to 1v2 for this long. It's only the first period, but man, has Glass, the bot be, has Glass the bot been doing a great job right now? Kilbu's right, that is the Royal I remember back in my day. The Royal who would let up 18 <laughs> goals against the Alaska Aces. To be fair, though, he had a bad team. Oh, chat, he basically had the Mingos, but, like, more calm. It's like the... I don't know. I don't know a good comparison nowadays. So what are your thoughts so far, Blop? I mean, well, chat. I thought this was a one-zero earlier. I can't look at the scoreboard. Uh, it's it's one-one. So Rumuski, I mean, no. All all jokes aside, it's very impressive that Salt Lake Bagels got that penalty kill goal. But it's just a very one-sided game here. You're looking at six shots on the Chiefs side to one shot from Rumuski. If Chiefs can just find how to put these into the back of the net, and Smart Griffin can't just bail out Rumuski anymore. It's going to be pretty one-sided, but honestly, if they can keep this up, it's possible that Ramuski clutched this victory here. Yeah, but the odds are still against them. We got That's... a lot of time left, so... That is for sure. And Fizz is typing in all cast, which means he's yelling at his computer. <laughs> Just through the computer, though. Ramuski will not skip here. They will take absolutely all of their time, really just icing the it... competition here. Ice in the competition and trying to um, 
you know, get them off edge because, uh, you know, off the Raku bait you is what I should have said. You can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't, dude. It, it's it's so bad. I can't say it even if it's like in a good context. It's not in a bad context, and I still can't say it. Like we banned just a normal word because people like to use it in a a bad way. Like, come on. You guys suck, all right? Whoever, whoever kept doing that, you guys suck. And I can't say it on stream anymore because I'm going to be like, you can't say that. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, Like I was saying, though, I just feel, I don't know, man. A 1v2 for this long, is it really going to happen? Especially with Zulus and Molong uh, kind of stacked now. They're kind of line stacking one because they know they can get away with it. Yeah, absolutely. Glass has played great defensive here, stopping these passes. This is always the Chiefs line. This isn't stopped in all this. This is always the line. Is it? Is this always the line? Oh, finding an amazing oh, P3 that's opportunity. That's oh, that's... Oh. oh, but Glass getting a little too offensive here, and... Wow! Oh, oh. Oh, just kind of fails his crit chain here and loses the control, so Glass can get bailed out of what was definitely Glass a way too aggressive a play. Offensive. Way too offensive for somebody... That is just completely by himself. You have nobody behind you there. You can't afford to run into that and lose that. I feel like you gotta balance your offense and defense. You gotta go for the opportunities, but at the same time, you gotta make sure you're gonna be able to go for it back there. Oh. Oh. Not having opportunity, but completely whipping the yeah, yeah. And Zulus will take it up, but a good ping away from Glaz as and a even better pass up from Smart Griffin. The goalie's really hit, hit not hit afraid out, to get in the third period. He just pulls Smart Griffin and run my goal. <laughs> okay, so we'll say though. Them lose them the game. I feel like Smart Griffin. Um, he's probably hitting that vape a lot right now. He's probably pretty scared. <laughs> this is a, this is a big game. Oh, what Look a at that glove! From Smart Griffin and a great positioning. This is the positioning that we really need to see from a lot of these JDHL goalies yeah, who are new here. The positioning here is he's not a lot of the goalies here in JDHL like to to come up too much. Come up, you know, five or six blocks because everybody knows that the closer you are to somebody, the less of an angle they have. But they overdo it and they just get too confident coming out where they just completely let the opponent beat them. Smart Griffin's not afraid to sit back here and just play the angle and glove it. Oh, and we're going to have too many men. Are TMN we going to have it? Uh, doesn't seem to get I'm, I'm, I think they're just going to, I think they're going to just assume that there was, um, it was a communication issue. Not really. It didn't, I mean... It's a bit too late now, so. A bit of Brexit there. And Fizz is just not calling that there, but they'll continue to play on. It doesn't seem to affect the play too much. Didn't light up any goals or anything. As DC Gym Master will try to pass it up to Sauce Lake Bagel here. Adrian will take it up. He has plenty of open ice here, but doesn't have anybody to pass it to. So P2s it up, but just finds nothing as DC Gym Master just completely takes it from uh, we're him. We're getting some bunching here. They need the to kind of spread out, play more zone coverage. JJI finds himself onto the Ramuski bench, probably in the call right now, trying to give him some plays. He is, Whoa. he is not in the call. He's actually in the stage right now. Oh, he's <laughs> in the stage. It's a bit of a tough one. I can't lie. There's a really, really, really soft pen, but it's like, mm, fair enough. Interesting pen here. I think Royal's getting very mad. Can we get an abusive officials? Pen, this, please. This, this guy <laughs> might Yo, have. That's a sick cape, man. I love that. Come, come near the camera. Come near the camera. I want to see that too. That might have some money on the game here. We need to check who Fizz is betting on these money lines, because okay. anyway. there's some shots. Yeah, calls, hold up. But... I want to see. I want to see what cape he's wearing. Uh, I can't see it. He's probably on like feather or something. Weirdos. Oh, that's Lunar on top. Oh, Sorry, that was weird. Yeah. Let's see who is serving for the Chiefs here. Wait, show it, show it, Kabu. Hold up, I can, I can see your stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fire! I see it, I see it. It's fire. Ooh, I like that. Reminder, if you're tuning in on GHN, we have NAMHL, um, a NAMHL tournament, more of a relaxed commentary, not really like standard commentary like we usually have here on GHN. Uh, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, we have the Ann Arbor Honey Badgers, the Mexico City Cougars, oh, and the... Nice. Jesus. And 
Admirals versus Voyagers at eight. Zula's taking the penalty kill here and winning the face off to try to put it into the boards, eliminating any shot opportunity they're mostly had off of that face off. Glass and Sloth looking to get something done here. Yeah. Yeah, no, that a big is. hit there on Glass. Smartgrim is quite out, but he, he was lucky. I mean, it's it's helped him before though. It's helped him before. It um, Zulus is being very panicky on his P3s. I mean, if I don't think I'm the only one who can see this, oh, but I mean, he did immediately P3 it to Svechi as Svechi's out of the penalty box. Wasn't even ready for that, and it was just having the puck thrown at their face. A lot of bunching here from the Ramuski Oceanic. And yeah, they need to loose. stop that. That just allows Zulus to beat both of them and P3 it right through Smart Griffin to the right of him and just finding that open net, making it 2-1. Chiefs are beating Ramuski and that's a honestly, mistake you can't do. You gotta yeah. run more zone. You can't be bunched up. That was more the key for them. Yeah, the key I mean Smart Griffin Smart Griffin, he's had a good game, especially for being what is it, eight out of ten. Um, I don't know what the calculation is on that. So I mean I don't know what you mean, you don't know what the calculation is, you just take the goals away from the shot. Yeah, that's a big division number. I'm too lazy for that. Wow. The Chiefs will call timeout Yo, here. Yo, I have math the last hour of my class. So, uh, yeah, classes. Why? Because uh, he kept jumping on the ice and fucking resetting like, trends of game. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, so I think that penalty before, I think that was Adrian Tom. Um... Spetchy? Yeah, that's yeah. kind of odd. I don't know why. They managed to, this is the first JBL to append they managed to get something not on the ice. Zulus we'll start the face off here as Glaz versus Zulus after the timeout. I can, and I can, Zulus see, what, I can see what Glaz was trying to do, and that's what I was trying to try and get you to do. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to pull it back, pull it back, and then just P3. It reaches the net from there, it's a stupid thing. Yeah, I understood what you meant there. I, I spent some time practicing it. But DC Jet Master, Zul is beating both of them and finding it, but it'll be cleared away by Glaz here. As Glaz P3s it up to DC Gem Master, but he just can't find the pass there as Zulus pings it back into their defensive zone. Molong taking it up into the corner here. Glaz the bottom Molong will fight for it in the corner. Tries to P3 it up to find Zulus there, but just can't find Zulus. Do we, do we know why they called a timeout? Because that just gives Ramuski a full line for the rest of the period. Not sure. Now they may have just really wanted to lose Mo Long. This Chiefs have been very one-sided on the shots here. Ten shots to one. But these shots have been very low quality. Oh, P3ing it from half up the ice and know? just... Are we okay. not I, I don't think we are. I don't think we are. That's... Pen's Interesting call, slow. but, you know, the game still goes on. Show goes oh, yeah, on. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Alright, um... I'm not gonna lie, it's starting to turn into a WWE match out here. A lot of hits happening. Zulus trying to pass up to Molong, but just can't find it. And Molong is there, is above the blue ice. So even if he receives that pass, it's not gonna be a goal. Zulus would have to tag all the way up for that to be not off sides. New Blue Bridge is a ref, but I don't know. I don't know how long. He Oh, like this game? Oh. If you try, if you try to not put on connect, yeah, that'd be great. This face off, Adrian Tom versus Slothlick Bagel. Adrian Tom will win it, but Slothlick Bagel just jumping it and clamping pesos on P3 shot. As it goes on the corner, P3s it, are both Oh, Slothlick Bagel's! Oh, but gives a offside. great... Offside, it's offside. It doesn't matter if it goes in or not. It, they were offside, I'm pretty sure. They still are. Pretty sure they... Yeah, they still are yeah, offside. they still are offside. They need to tag up. Glass might have a breakaway oh, here. Nice. But, oh, a good Royal. puck from Royal. That would have been a force. A save, so he's still on 0%. <laughs> yeah, so they're going to get mad soon because um, Royal's going to be mad when he looks at the sheet when it's updated in 10 years. I'm not, I'm not adding a shot for that either. That'd be 0% for it. If that wasn't a glove there, that definitely would have been a force through him as well, making another goal. So that's a that's a... Big glove there. 
so yeah, Pen Penvert we're not, we're not playing boat here. Penvert Vespas TBH actually Can you get a pen? Uh, and that will be the end of the second period. Two to one. I'd like to uh, um, pen the Credia defenders, please. Thank you very much. Or, or we could pen the Coney Coney Kings, my team, and owned by Kibu. How do you feel about that, Kibu? What? He has no comment at this time about his team. This has been yeah. a very, very good game so far. Very Will two. Pingo is on the bench. No. Two decently matched. Why don't you guys here. just lock it? Come on, mate. I mean, they're shipping up. They're not gonna skip it. They're gonna probably ice this again. So, you got any filler blop on me? Well, I absolutely do. Well, let's hear it. Uh, this has been a great game. This is two decent teams here at have. Been honestly evenly matched in my eyes, but this game has not been even at all with the lack of just a missing player from Ramuski. And Chiefs have just completely dominated the shots here, but only found two in the back of the net. So it's one to two. And Chiefs have been looking in good form in this doubleheader they have today here with these great games. But there's more games to be had today. Look forward to the Rams versus the Palm Beach Barracuda immediately after this game. Fuck Caribou. Mm. Fucking post them sooner so I don't say shit. That's not right. Rescheduled. Is the, what got rescheduled? What got rescheduled? Is the Raptor one rescheduled? 9, 9.30. 9, 30. Oh, the oh, Rams back today, though, right? Yeah, 9.30. So the next two games are 9 o'clock and 9.30. So. 9 o'clock and 9.30. And if you want to watch those games after Nami Show, we got two other JBHL games. Kind of a weird schedule today, so... You haven't had enough of your blocky fill. I was told not to pick BHL days, so I don't know why NMHL thinks they, they're good enough to pick the days that we have. But, you know. It's and just a fun tournament. It's not like anything to comp, fun. honestly. KBB Bro, will there's, there's been a have another double hit. signing in transactions for the last five days. Which uh, Which one is it? Aiden Tag? Yeah, he's, he's been in there for That one's been posted. Years. Oh, it's been posted now. Thank God. Yesterday at 10:44 p.m. I accepted the snap and said, "Yeah, I'll sign at the beginning of the draft," and then <laughs> then they waited till like now to post it. So. Oh my god! It, it screams NAMHL, which isn't a good thing. Um, yeah, NAMHL is more chill back, laid back. I don't treat it as much as elite. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. I'm, I'm That's kind of. As we start into the period oh, three, they oh, play. A good opportunity why, why here. Mulong and Zulus, a one v two against Glaz the bot. <laughs> has Yo, what are we doing, chat? Wait, you know, Glaz, Mulong isn't gonna go for. That's a good shot because Glaz can't afford to pressure Mulong there without a pass straight to Zulus. I'm and a bit of lag on my end. Yeah, I can just see. walk up to it, but that also allows Mulong to walk up until he gets in the shot range. And have a good shot there. Don't try the P2P2 fullback team. It's not going to work today. <laughs> Glass and Zulus fighting in the corner for the Zulus is trying to find a pass up to Molong and he finds it. And bang! P3 back into, just right into the net. Forcing Stam was kind of cringe. So like, Four minutes. Yeah, forcing Stam. I was, I was, I heard that from Toasted. He said, um, it's kind of a bad team. So, I mean, we can force Stam. A Kamish team forcing Stam? Yeah, but Noobly Bitch wouldn't rig anything unlike you, Kobu, so we're fine. Let's start off as continue with a 1v2 with Glazbot versus Zulus and Molong. And they'll just start with the Husky Classics here, and it just finds another for Zulus as Zulus just beats Glaz there and just sneaks it right past Smart Griffin into the net. And this is just, it's run away from the Rimuski here. There's nothing that they can do anymore here. Four minutes left. It's one to four. Hold it up. They came back net. last time when they were down one nothing. Yeah, this is a bigger deficit, but I believe in glass ball. You know what I mean? Let's see. Zulus almost finds it. Finds it up to Molong, who looks for a P3. A delayed penalty against Ramuski. All right, never mind. This game's over. It's, it's looking very hard. It's not. It's not looking very good for Ramuski. As Glass will be put back into the boarding box for the second time this game. Why 
Austin Eckler is going to the Washington Commanders, of course. Glass serves because he was the only one on the ice, no? Yeah, but then it's just a pee shot, isn't it? Because if he's the only one on the ice, then it's a pee shot. Well, he was on the only one on ice by choice. It wasn't like... <laughs> Bro, like, what are Yo, you? He's doing a good job, chat. Come on, we we okay. can't even like reward good commentators. You guys just go yap on me. That's what a commentating is. It's just yapping. <laughs> Tony Romo gets paid millions of dollars to yap on live television. Like, he, I, this is better. This. You are better than Tony Romo, dude. Tony yeah, Romo sucks. As hell. Dude, all he does is just talk about the Chiefs. I hate it. Wait, speaking of the Chiefs. Welcome back, Kansas, Kansas City, right here. Glass will, or sorry, not Glass. Slot will win the face off. He's looking for a second penalty kill goal here. He's, oh. You can see the hunger in his eyes, but oh my, it almost hits the post. Azulus almost finds another one here to really stat pad against one of the Oceanic. Wait, no, <laughs> I just have to say that the way they just formed for a second reminded me of the first, the first time Sloth scored in this game. But they all just like bunched up in the middle and then kind of separated. Saw this playing two aggro here though, allowing Svechi to just be wide open for easy pass and an easy P3. That was pretty hard to watch. That was two aggro from Sloth here, just allowing Chiefs to just send it up the ice and easy P3 into back of the net. I don't know why we forced Stam on this game though. It'd be a lot more interesting if we didn't. The loons have just gotten Kyle's basement. This just in! What's the trade? I don't know what the trade is. Kyle's was basement it, for future considerations? Wasn't he just on Mallards? Oh, yeah, he's not. Anymore. I'm going to ghost ping him for fun. 525 blocky bucks. I don't so know. So it's like Bagels and DC Gem Master here facing off in the last three minutes and 30 seconds against Adrian, Tom, and Mo Long. Sloth finding a good opportunity. Honestly, Sloth has really just found most of the offensive opportunities that Ramuski has found today. They need to give him more time on ice here because it's looking like he's really shaping up to be something for this team. Molo playing into the corner, trying to find a p pass, but just can't find anything as he fights DC Gem Master there. If only they could play like this against the uh, Deers, the Chiefs, man. Oh, come on. It's the joke. It's a joke. Come on, man. Oh, Molong. A great pullback there, but just stopped by DC Gem Master. DC Gem is completely just... Completely bunched. Yep. Adrian just puts it right into Smart Griffin's chest, though, for an easy save on Smart Griffin. Finding a P3 pass from Molong up to Adrian Tom. It's beat by Glaz, but Glaz loses that to Adrian, and now it goes into the corner of the Rumuski side and behind the net as DC Gem Master and Adrian Tom fight behind the net in the corner. And it's P3 up to Molong, who gets it past Glaz, but can't find anything, and a P3 behind the net. And a big hit. Behind the net, it won't get called though, as Glaz takes it up, loses control of it, and fails the pullback, puts it back in the corner, also failing the pullback again, and is struggling in the corner here against Adrian Tom. He needs to get it out. They need to find something happen. They can't just let this sit in the corner of the defensive zone if they want anything to happen this game. So let's just pee throwing it straight into Smart Griffin's chest for an easy. A puck, uh, easy glove, I and mean, he will freeze it there. Speaking of the Chiefs, we are uh, upcoming three Chiefs games. Chiefs versus Deus on March 14th at 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, also, uh, reschedules may apply. Um, Chiefs versus um, Huskies, uh, 6 p.m. Tuesday, March 19th, and Chiefs versus Huskies again on March 21st. Oh, and also Mingos versus Chiefs the same day as the Huskies one. Yeah, that one's not gonna happen. I hope it does though, because like I'd really want to face the Mingos. Glass the bot and Zulus 1v2ing again against or sorry, Glass the bot 1v2ing again against Sechi and Zulus here. As they're trying to find some pass plays happen against Glass, but oh DC Gem Master will come on the ice making it 2v2. And with only a minute and 30 left, you're really just Rumuski's really just looking to try to get any kind of goal here to stop that goal differential. 
because when we're looking at playoff qualifications in their bracket, they really do need every single point that'll matter. Because with this next, you know, week, two weeks coming up, it's going to come down to the wire on what teams qualify and what don't. And Ramuski is not looking great in terms of their uh, qualifying potential. I will say, though, for teams like the Oceanic, um, they will definitely benefit from the trade deadline with a bunch of the really bad teams that are assuming they haven't been eliminated from the playoffs, kind of like, uh, what was it, the Mingos last season, um, kind of can trade away their players to at least give them a chance in the playoffs. That is kinda true. Kind of redeem themselves. But it just depends on each team. You know, Hopefully we have an interesting trade deadline, but probably not because most teams are set. But you never know. Maybe a team goes out there and tries to get um, – sorry, tries to get uh, – kind of bolster their team that final piece to their team um a lot of teams from the chiefs here is adrian tom tom comes onto the ice and it's put into the corner of the ramuski oceanic zone i'll pass up the glass as he tries to beat molong gets it past molong but just loses control as it goes into the now the corner of the chiefs area as it goes into center ice molong beats both the defenders p3s it up but it's an easy save for smart griffin and this seems like it's gonna be the end of the game and that is gg one to five chiefs take it with 19 shots versus Ramuski's two. Big wow. game. Big game for the Chiefs. They get back-to-back -back wins, so they grab four points. And there's nobody out to shake their hands. Any they time all in the locker here? room. Uh, come on, guys. At least, at least shake their hand, right? 